Now here you can see children, this is the sepal. All the sepals unitedly constitute the first whorl which is called as the calyx. Calyx are green in color. In the bud stage, the calyx encloses the rest of the flower and they generally are concerned with the protection of the flower in the bud stage. The next part which you are seeing of a flower is a colored petal which commonly is called as corona. Now, it constitutes the most fragrant part and the colored part which is thin and soft and the function of petal is chiefly to attract the animals and insects for the purpose of pollination. We move on to the next third whorl which we say it as the androsium or a single unit of it is said to be the stamen. Now, androsium is the male reproductive part of the flower consisting of a stamen and it has got anther these are the four anther two anther lobes you can see on the dorsal side two on the ventral side and the stalk with which these anthers are connected is called the filament now children anther is responsible for the formation this structure is responsible for the formation of the pollen grains and filaments these are the minute thread like structures which are attached to the anther and they keep the anther in its place. I come to the next structure which is gynecium or you can say a typical carpal. The carpal has got three parts in it that is the stigma, sty, and ovaries which you can see. Now ovary is a chamber where ovules or eggs are stored and they are waiting for fertilization. A stigma is the topmost receptacle part of this structure of carpal whose main function is to receive the pollen. The pollen come and lands over this stigma and the style is a connection, it is a tubular connection between the stigma and the ovary and it serves a purpose to tra uh, transport or to carry the pollen to the ovule for the process of fertilization. Now I come children about the typical structure of a carpal and a stamen which will be still more better for you to see here. These are the anthers which produce pollen grains and finally this thin thread like a structure or the stalk which is said to be the filament. A carpal you can see stigma, long tube style and then ovule and this ovary is resting on the stalk of the flower which is said to be this structure is said to be the cup shaped structure where the ovary rest is said to be the thalamus. Now reproductive structure of flower it is androsium and the gynesium or stamen or carpal or a pistil. Simply what I just now said is shown in this style that the anther is the breeding portion of the stamen and each anther is connected by two lobes which has got a stalk called filament and anther produce pollen grains. And the description of pistil, it has got a typical ovary, a style and the, style and the stigma.